you're facing another mobile quarterback, kind of like what Anthony Richardson was in Dave Daniels. How important is it to keep him in the pocket and not let him beat you with his legs? Uh, it's very important because uh, going into this game, he's the lead rusher for the team. So um, our number one job is to contain him, you know, make him uncomfortable, you know, um, contain the pocket, you know, make it less room for him to run, you know, just, you know, keep him in the pocket as much as we can. All right, we've got a bunch of pressures this year, but haven't gotten as many sacks, I'm sure, as you would, you would like. You talked about your goals and increases, but what do you think your pass rush is? Right now, what, what what are you trying to, to work on, and what did you work on this off week to, to up your pass rush even more? Um, basically just going speed of power. Um, when I watch a lot of my uh, pass rushes, I'd be like a second away from getting a sack, or just the way I tackle. Um, you know, <coughs> grabbing the throwing arm. I feel like that's one of the main things. You know, and my problem, I'm not getting that much sack, so I just work on you know getting off the ball, getting vertical, and you know just containing and uh, tackling, tackling better basically. What do you see from the LSU's uh, offensive line and their front and, and some of those complimentary pieces to Daniels? Um, you know, they got a really big offensive line. Um, you know, they're really, um, they really well coached, I'd say. You know, big guys, you know, the tackles, they uh, quick on their feet. So the things, you know, some things I've seen that, um, you know, they're up top of offense and they're pretty good with their movement. So, you know, we just got to, you know, do our assignments and um, I feel like we'll be okay. Um, uh, both of them, they're really powerful. Um, just what I've seen, you know, they're quick on their feet. Like I said, um, I said number 66, uh, you know, he, he probably kind of, you know, sit on the bull a little bit, probably go speed with him. But uh, for the most part, you know, they're really mature and uh, look like they really, um, in the future, going to be really good tackles. Oh, that, that Florida game, it got kind of hairy late when they got that onside kick. Would, would you think this is the last play where you put pressure on Richardson and ended up in an interception? Uh, I just knew that, you know, uh, I just believed in my DBs. I just knew I had to get to them, just had to make them uncomfortable. So I knew, you know, I just got out the ball. It would have been the last rep, so I just gave everything I had. Um, you know, at first it was the first rush, and I kind of stopped a little bit. And I seen Tyler coming around, so I said, I see him try to step up. So I just came around real fast and, you know, just made the play happen. You know, then we had to back in, had uh, Kamal finish the game, so. You hit him when he threw it, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Does anything change with you when you're playing on the road? Are you a guy who likes playing the road game? Do you like the challenge of it, or do you sort of just prefer playing at home with your with your heel there? Um, honestly, I like road games. Uh, for us as a defense, it's like not that much noise. Um, just communicating at home, you know, it'd be really loud. Which what we want, we want it to be loud, but you know, sometimes it'd be hard to communicate. So away games not going to be that loud because their offense on the field, so they're not going to be that loud. So I mean, it really it really don't matter to me, but um, I'm cool with both. I think Coach Eichel said that as far as the game, the earlier the better. Do you like the idea of playing an 11 a.m. game single time? I think I played one so far. I mean, it's okay with me. You know, um, you know, either way, you know, you got to play. So, you know, I'm at a night game, early game, in the morning, I'm at, I'm ready to go out of town. Yeah. We've seen a few earlier snaps for Joshua Joseph. So just what kind of upside potential is he? Uh, he got a lot of potential. Uh, very fast, mature guy. Um, have a really long arm. You know, in the future, you know, the future really bright for him. And um, I taught him every day. Um, he want to get better. You know, he studied, studied the tackles. You know, always trying to get extra work in. Um, it's just me watching him develop as a player from summer to now. It's just really, you know, it's really great. You know, I love it. Uh, good kid. He got a bright future. Thanks, B.Y. Appreciate y'all.